One legend tells us that Losawa Rinchen Zangpo was traveling across the length and breadth of Ladakh on a tough mission. Having come all the way from Spiti, he was in search for an ideal spot where temples and praise of the Enlightened One could be built. Temples which would be unique. But all he saw was wilderness, stark barren hills, valleys and dunes. Many a sunset did he see, as also he saw the moon rise, but still the perfect spot eluded him. A little perturbed, he sat deep in meditation. Inspired, he selected a spot and planted his wooden staff there and took a vow that upon returning, if the staff would have taken root, burst into leaves, the temples would be built right there at Alchi. The staff did take root to become a lush tree sacred till date. And true to his word, Rinchen Sangpo began work on the temple. Master craftsmen, artists and artisans were invited from other parts of India. They came, especially from central India, to this wilderness to create magic. In fact, the Choskor, or religious enclave at Alchi, is unique. The paintings and mural adorning its walls, however, are almost identical in style and spirit to those found in the Ajanta caves. The temples at Alchi are very nearly the sole survivors of pre-Tibetan style of Buddhist painting and art current in India at that time. Abandoned centuries ago, as a place of regular worship, Alchi is still a sacred site maintained by the monks of Likir, a nearby monastery. There is a beautiful folk song also which describes how Alchi got its name. One legend tells us तो आलची तो पहला गांव था तो यहां से हमारे राजा महाराजा है जो उस वक्त लोगों को ऐसे ही काम के लिए लाते थे तो वो लोग बिल्कुल ना सुना करते थे इसलिए ना सुनाई को हम हाल चिंते बोलते हैं बट दैट परहैप्स वाज ट्रू व्हेन एबल हैंड्स वर रिक्वायर्ड टू बिल्ड द टेंपल्स अ मिलेनियम अगो टुडे द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द टेंपल्स इन शोर that people from far and near come on their own to soak in the beauty of the temples and also that of Alchi. Perhaps divine and human creativity at its best.